Welcome to my channel The Incredible World for Us Lithuania Restores Independence Lithuania declared sovereignty on its territory on 18 May 1989 and declared independence from the Soviet Union on the 11th of March 1990 as the Republic of Lithuania, and was the first Soviet Republic to do so. All legal ties of the Soviet Union sovereignty over the Republic were cut as Lithuania declared the restitution of its independence. The Soviet Union claimed that this declaration was illegal, suggesting that Lithuania had to follow the process of secession mandated in the Soviet Constitution. Lithuania claimed that the Soviet annexation itself was illegal and claimed state continuity. In January 1991, during the January events, Soviet military attempted to crack down on the Lithuanian independence, killing four civilians and injuring over 140. 14 civilians were killed and over 140 were injured. Following the failed 1991 Soviet coup d'état attempt, most countries recognized the Lithuanian independence, and the Soviet Union itself did that on 6 September 1991. Lithuania and the Russian Federation Russian Embassy in Vilnius on 27 July 1991, the Russian government re-recognized Lithuania and the two countries re-established diplomatic relations on 9 October 1991. President Boris Yeltsin and President Vytautas Landsbergis met to discuss economic ties. The Russian troops stayed in Lithuania for an additional three years, as Boris Yeltsin linked the issue of Russian minorities with troop withdrawals. Lithuania was the first to have the Russian troops withdrawn from its territory in August 1993, citation needed, since the re-establishment of independence, only two Lithuanian leaders have visited Moscow, one by Algirdas Brzozowskis in 1997 and Valdis Adamkis in 2001 and 2005. A planned 1999 trip to Moscow was reportedly cancelled due to Boris Yeltsin's illness. The first telephone conversation took place between Dalia Griboskaite and Dmitry Medvedev in 2009. Following Russia's military intervention in Ukraine, concerns about the geopolitical environment led Lithuania to begin preparing for a possibility of a military conflict with Russia. In December 2014, Russia carried out a military drill in nearby Kaliningrad with 55 naval vessels and 9,000 soldiers. In 2015, Lithuanian Chief of Defense Jonas Vytautas Zukas announced plans to reinstate conscription, which ended in 2008, to bolster the ranks of the Lithuanian Armed Forces. The Ministry of National Defense also published a 98-page manual for citizens to prepare them for armed conflict and occupation. Please continue part 2. Thanks for your time. Please like and subscribe our channel, The Incredible World for Us.